Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Today I have another scent note video. Today though, I have cherry because cherry is one of my absolute favorite scent notes and I really wanted to showcase it. I have quite a few in here. I have some that are in a similar line that have cherry. So I kind of wanted to give you options. I'm not gonna go super in depth on a couple of them though, because I have done videos just extensively on them and I will have links for those up above. But I wanted to kind of go from my favorite cherry, things that I reach for, that I crave, that I absolutely love. Wanted to talk to you about those and then, uh, yeah. So let me know your favorite cherry scents down below in the comments. Let me know if you've tried any of these cherry scents what you think of them. These all have a prominent cherry note. That that was that was the goal. Like they had to have a cherry, a prominent cherry note. And then also, if you haven't already subscribed, please do consider subscribing and please like this video. It really helps out. Small YouTubers, I'm really trying to increase my sub numbers and my views a little bit. So every little bit really helps. I've talked about this perfume a few times, so this is probably absolutely no surprise whatsoever. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal by Night. This one I think has been recently decluttered. That's what I've heard. This is not available in retailers in the United States though, so it it's hard to know if it's, like I just have to go by what other people have said. And I've heard that it has been dis decluttered or discontinued. This is my, I don't want to say it's my favorite of the scandals, but this one is very, very cherry forward. Oh my gosh. Rich, syrupy, very sweet. It has honey in it. So it's like this cherry infused honey and it is very rich and very opulent and probably not, not, not a work scent. I wouldn't wear it in, for work. I know people would not wear this to like in the summer, I would wear this in the summer and I have worn it in the summer, maybe not in a hundred degree heat, but I have worn it and I wear it year round. I just, oh, it's, it's such a good pick me up scent. So the notes on Scandal by Nights are honey, bitter oranges and citruses. Middle notes are cherry, tuberose, orange blossom, pear and nard Himalayan. Base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, patchouli, sandalwood, amberwood and musk. I, this is like a sweet syrup bomb. If you put this on my pancakes, I would absolutely, this is the type of cherry syrup that I would eat. I, I'm not a big pancake person because I don't like syrup, but I love fruit syrupy scents, if that makes sense. Absolutely gorgeous, very sweet, very heavy, um, but has that tartness in it too with the citruses and the Bitters, bitter orange, it's it's so good. I really, really like it. I didn't spray Scandal by Night, so we're gonna, I'm gonna give it a spray. Oh, I don't wanna waste it. This one does have a pretty big dent. I did buy it on Mercari, so it had been used a little bit, but I do wear this one regularly. You don't need to overspray it. Like this one has a lot of presence to it. So, you know, four, five sprays and you're gonna be smelling. It for a long time yeah it's even sweeter on the paper the cherry is just really well blended in with that honey and the citruses like they all just blend together and it's just it's delicious I could see this being a delicious drink I like to smell like a delicious drink so you might not enjoy that and you might enjoy some of my other scent choices better. Next up we have from Montel. This is Intense Cherry. I picked up a decant of this from Royalty Scents before I purchased it because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this one. I got this and then Mancera's Wild Cherry. And they were, that one was okay. It's not, I liked this one better. This was more of a candied cherry kind of like sour cherry scent. So our notes on this are bergamot and black cherry. Middle notes are rose petal and jasmine. Base notes are musk, vanilla, and sandalwood. I hate these little things. And this, uh, if you get a tester, they have them permanently on there. But I feel like this cap doesn't stay on there very well. My uh, chocolate greedy, it's constantly falling off the, the sprayer. It drives me nuts. This is, a very sour cherry 
the bergamot I think makes it more sour. It is also has a synthetic note to it. It smells slightly plasticky. I don't mind that. It almost smells like you had a really sour cherry shampoo. That's what, what I kind of get. So that's a little soapy in nature. It's sour. It has a little syntheticness to it. But it definitely is a cherry scent. And I think this one would also work year-round for me because it does have that uh, soapiness. It doesn't feel overwhelmingly sweet or anything. And it's really interesting. Is it my favorite of these? No, but I do really like this as a cherry scent and I will happily wear it whenever. Let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. This is Tom Ford Lost Cherry. This is probably the most famous cherry. What a lot of people, how they got into cherry in the first place. Man, I feel like I've used quite a bit. I've had this one for quite a while. I actually got this before it really blew up on YouTube. It was still uh, a limited edition when I got it. That lasted so long. Other people say that this doesn't last very long on them. This one I've had, I've gotten sick of because I could smell it 10 hours later. That might be my skin. It might be because I have an older bottle. It might be because it macerated. I don't, I don't know. I get a deep cherry, but it has that liqueur scent to it. And the almond is also there. So it's almost as if you took because almonds are the middle of a droop. I know I say this probably every time I talk about droops, but cherries are a droop. So it's almost like you've taken the pit of a cherry and you've cracked it open and you've taken that nut inside and you've mixed that in with the cherries. It's beautiful. It's boozy. It's not a summer fragrance for me. This is one that I definitely reach for in the winter more than any other time because it is very thick it's very deep it's not a fun fragrance I don't feel like I feel like the one that I just talked about and the next one I'm going to talk about they are very fun fragrances and this one doesn't have like that element of fun to it it's more a little more serious it's beautiful I do like it is it worth $400 now no, it is not worth $400. These are $395 now, the last time I looked. Even if you find this at the cosmetic company store and it's 50% off with 15% off, that's still a lot of money. That would be the best way to get it. I have not seen it on Costco. That's how I finally got my Bitter Peach, but it, get a bargain on it. Don't, don't pay retail. Don't pay 20% off. Get it at minimum 50% off. I should tell you the notes on Lost Cherry. So our notes are bitter almond liqueur, bitter arm, almond liqueur, black cherry, middle notes are sour cherry, plum, Turkish rose, and jasmine sandback. Base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, cinnamon, peru balsam, benzoin, sandalwood, cloves, cedar, patchouli, and vetiver. So I do get a little bit of the vanilla and the tonka bean in there too, but it's mostly those top notes are what I really get and that really stick with me. And I might just be a unicorn with how long it lasts because I have other people report that it doesn't last as long. I do have another bottle of it that Influencer sent me. It's still sealed though. I have not tested them against each other because I, I have my bottle that I bought years ago. So we'll see. Maybe when I get to it, I will be able to tell you if there's any difference when I get to it probably in like three, four years time. The next scent I want to talk about is Prada Candy Gloss. I absolutely love this scent. This makes me so happy. I've used over half of this bottle up. I've gotten compliments on this when I've been out and about. I went to lunch with a friend and the waitress complimented me and this was back when we were just recovering from COVID and the servers were still wearing masks. She was like, what are you wearing? You smell amazing. She did think maybe I was wearing something from Bath and Body Works. So keep that in mind. I don't think this smells, I think this is, if you want to compare it to Bath and Body Works, this is like Bath and Body Works on steroids. It has much more projection. It has more longevity. It's just a little bit different of a scent. I don't, I have never had, I've never seen them do a cherry quite like this. Mm. 
I love this one so much. It does kind of smell like a candy. The gloss, I don't, like, I think the gloss is kind of funny. Let me give you the notes though because the notes on this one are so good. So our top notes are sour cherry and cassis. Middle notes are peach, rose, and orange blossom. Base notes are vanilla, almond, benzoin, heliotrope, and musk. So to me, this is such a sour cherry. This is a different cherry than any of the cherries we've talked about. This one is so bright. It, it kind of makes, every time I smell this, it makes the bath, back of my uh, jaw pinch a little bit. I start salivating my, I have like, mm. it just, it brings me so much joy. It is a sour cherry, so you have to like a sour cherry, but it's not, there's no sourness to it, if that makes sense. It's the, you know, think of, you know what it kind of reminds me of, Zots. Have you ever had Zots? Those candies that when you get to the middle of them, they're like filled with like a powder and it's sour and it kind of fizzes. That's what I get from this. That is the, sen that is the sensation, the, the feel of it is kind of what I get when I smell this. I love this one. I've, I've heard this one is being discontinued as well. So I would, I bought myself a backup bottle. I bought the big bottle that's like 2.7 instead of the one ounce because this is one I absolutely love. I do wear this one year round. It's not, once again, a work scent. So far, I would not wear any of these scents to work because they're a little bit loud. They're a little bit more playful, I feel. A little more dark. Like Lost Cherry would be the closest one, but it's not my favorite uh, to wear to work. It's not really what I would feel comfortable wearing to work. Next up, we have two from a line. I have two Britney Spears fantasies. I have Midnight Fantasy and I have, oh, I can remember, Festive Fantasy. So I want to talk about both of these, kind of give you the notes on them really fast. So first up is Festive Fantasy. This one has notes of dewberry, sour cherry, and plum. Middle notes are freesia, lily, and jasmine. Base notes are sugar, vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. And then with Midnight Fantasy, we have plum, sour cherry, and raspberry. Middle notes are orchid, iris, and freesia. Base notes are vanilla, amber, and musk. I eventually want to do a video on all of the fantasies, but I have not done that yet, so I'm going to kind of talk through them and tell you how they differ in terms of cherry. This one is really bright and light and sweet. It has a lot of sweetness to it. It almost reminds me of a fruit punch with cherry or a fruit cocktail. You know you get the fruit cocktail with the maraschino cherries. I kind of get that. A little bit more fragrant, has a little bit more sharpness to it than that, but I definitely get that, that there's a lot of different fruits mixed in together, but the cherry is there. It makes me really happy. This is, when I got this one, I was very surprised. I got all of my Britney Spears uh, fragrances in the past couple years, so I was not expecting it to be like this. I really like this one. I think it is a very nice scent, and it I probably like it a little bit more than Midnight Fantasy even though I think this one has a more prominent cherry note to it. Yeah, with this one, I get more of a droopy feel. I think the plum and the cherry mix together really well. It's a little bit darker, a little bit more nighttime, I feel. The other one is more of a daytime. This one, I feel, is a little bit more evening or fall. I, I probably wouldn't wear this one in the, the summer, the Midnight Fantasy. Just, it has a little bit more depth to it. It's lovely and I like it, but if I was choosing between those two, I'd choose Festive Fantasy. Now we are to the part of the video where I'm just gonna kinda give you a rundown of the notes of these guys. So I have two from Lolita Lempica. We have So Sweet and Sweet. I did do a video on both of these. I will have it linked up above so that you can go and kind of get a full in-depth review. It's one of my most popular videos, ironically. This one is a little powdery. Uh, the cherry is there, but I don't know if I would necessarily immediately identify it as a cherry scent. This is sweet, by the way. So the notes of sweet are sour cherry and sugar. Middle notes are cacao, iris, and angelica. Base notes are musk and cashmere wood. So I'm probably getting that iris mixed in there. It's okay. 
it is not my favorite cherry. I'm going to rank these in terms of my favorite cherry, not necessarily in terms of how cherry they are, just because these are, this is a little different type of, I haven't had so many overlaps in lines before. Then we have So Sweet and So Sweet. And then there's also Sweet Kiss, which I have not ever found, which I really want. It's on my wish list. So if anybody ever sees a, so, a Sweet Kiss, let me know. This one. Our Raspberry Leaf, Sour Cherry, and Mandarin Orange. Middle notes are Rose, Iris, Rose, and Angelica. Base notes are Musk, Cashmere, and, and Amberwood. I get the cherry a little bit more in this one. It feels like a more prominent, not as dusty, powdery as so sweet. I mean, as sweet, it's nice. I do like it. It's not a love in terms of cherry. Finally, I have my La Petite Robe Noir collection, and there are six of them in my collection that have cherry that I like. There's also the Black Perfecto. I don't like this scent. It is too deep, it's too dark, the leather is too much for me. I don't like it, so I'm not gonna talk about that one. We will start with the original. We have La Petite Robe Noir. This is the EDP. This is the second EDP. I have not smelled the original one that came out a few years before they released it again. The tea is heavy in this one. I do definitely get the cherry. It's kind of refreshing though. It feels aromatic a little bit. It doesn't feel heavy or sickly sweet or syrupy like any of the other ones. I have done an entire review on this line and how I like them. So if you're interested in that, I will have that linked up above as well. I'm going through these kind of fast because one, it's getting late and I have to go to church. <laughs> and two, I also like, I don't want to repeat all of the things that I said. We have the EDT of La Petite Robe Noir. This, I think, was the second one I picked up. The first one I picked up was Couture, which doesn't have a cherry. Hmm. This one's smelling a little alcoholic to me. I hope this one hasn't turned. Usually what I get from this one is it's lighter. The tea is not as heavy. Oh, I should give you notes. So the original La Petite Robe Noir, the notes are sour cherry, almond, red berries, and bergamot. I think there's a little bit of bergamot. It has a slightly citrusy like ness to it. Middle notes are licorice, rose, tea, and tafe rose. Base notes are vanilla, anise, tonka bean, patchouli, and iris. And I do get the rose. It almost smells like a rose tea to me, like there's that essence in it. Then we have the EDT. The notes on this one are top notes are top notes are rose, green notes, and jasmine. Middle notes are sour cherry, apple, orange blossom, and black currant. Base notes are white musk, patchouli, and white amber. Yeah, it's calmed down. I think it was the green notes that were really throwing me off because they were not smelling. I feel like this wears better on the skin than it does on paper. I get a little bit more of the rose than the cherry in here. Like the cherry is still there, but I feel like it's kind of overpowered by some of the other set notes. Then we have, please, is this please say? No, this is Velours. Velours and then we kind of get a little muddy because some of them are a little harder to tell the difference between. The top notes in this one are sour cherry, mandarin orange, and bergamot. Middle notes are almond, violet, and rose. Base notes are tonka bean, black tea, and patchouli. I get more of the cherry note in here, but it's a very dry, almost arid cherry. The citruses are a little bit stronger. It's nice. It's not my favorite. I think if the original is too much for you, I think this is a better version than the EDT, just in terms of cherry. And then we have Please Say, and Please Say. I buy, I've gotten all of these either on the gray market or the secondary market, just because they are not available in retailers anywhere that I've seen. So like this one and the last one I bought from Mercari. The other ones I bought from FragranceNet or Zulily or TJ Maxx. The exception to that is they are sold in Disney World, but I'm not going to Disney World to buy perfume at full retail price. So please say, let me get you the bottle. They all have different dresses. The 
Notes are sour cherry, apricot, and mandarin orange. Middle notes are black tea, almond, and rose. Base notes are patchouli and white musk. This one is a softer version. I feel like this is the least sharp. It's the most, it's not really powdery, but it's just more well-rounded. It doesn't have some sharpness to it, which I feel like the other ones do with the tea and, or the citrus. It's really pretty. It's the sweetest so far of all of them that we've talked about. It's, it's really nice. I do enjoy that one a lot. The next one I have is Oh Fresh, and this one I've also think I've heard is discontinued. Like I said, a lot of these are not available in retailers in the United States immediately, so it makes it a little harder to figure out what's in available and what's not available, and I buy a lot of things on the secondary market. I mean, the gray market. So the notes on Oh Fresh are lemon, bergamot, mandarin orange, and orange blossom. Middle notes are almond, almond blossom, Sour Cherry, Freesia, Strawberry, Raspberry, Peach, Turkish Rose, Bulgarian Rose, and Jasmine Sandback. Base notes are Pistachio, Almond, Vanilla, Tonka Bean, Patchouli, and White Musk. So many scent notes in there. I think this one has the least cherry amount of all of them. It does have that cherry, but the nuts, the nuttiness kind of plays a big part, as does all of the citruses in it. So of all of the Petite Robe Noirs, La Petite Robe Noirs that I'm talking about. That one has the least amount of cherry in it. And then my favorite of all of these is the one with the most cherry. And this is Legere or Hippie, Hippie Chic. I don't, I've seen it listed both ways. And this one is very summery, very cherry. I'm trying to hold three things and I only have two hands and that's kind of a problem. So the notes on this one are sour cherry, almond, rose water, lime, and lemon. Middle notes are black tea, rose, raspberry, licorice, peony, and peach. Base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, violet, patchouli, and white musk. Like I said, this is my favorite of them. I think it has the most cherry for it. It's a little bit more akin to some of the earlier scents that I like. And... In a way, this kind of reminds me of Intense Cherry. It has that same type of a cherry note to it. I like this one, I think, just a little bit better. It's a little bit more grounded because it does have that black tea in there. It's really nice. I do enjoy it. If you're curious about La Petite Robe Noir, go watch the video that I linked up above because it's going to give you more in depth and it will talk about all of them, but I just wanted to highlight the ones that I wear that do have that cherry note in them. Let's talk the other ones, like least, I'm gonna leave out the La Petite Road Norse because there's so many of them. Let's talk about my least favorite cherry to my most favorite cherry. We're probably gonna put these guys at the bottom, the Lolita Lampicas. I like them, they're nice, they're just not as cherry as I want them to be. Just, they aren't ones that I think about and I crave to wear. Then we're doing Midnight Fantasy. I just, it's nice, it's a little bit more, droopy with that plum than the cherry. So I think it kind of has this awkwardness where it has both of the notes, but I'd rather, there's plums that I'd rather reach for and cherries I'd rather reach for. Then I'm gonna put Intense Cherry. I like this one quite a bit, but it's not one that I crave to wear. It's really cherry, very cherry forward. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this one. I was debating which one, like they're so different. Uh, I wear this one for very different occasions that I wear this one. So I'm going to put this one just a little bit down because I do really like it. It's Festive Fantasy, by the way, I should tell you that. I really like it, but it's not my all-time favorite. Lost Cherry, I really like this scent. I'm so glad that I have it in my collection, but I would never pay what the price is for it. I just, yeah. This, oh, if we're talking my favorite perfumes of all time, ones that I really can't live without, I think I'm going to put Scandal by Night in that list. But I think if we're talking just in terms of cherry, Prada Candy Gloss edges it out just a little bit. If I'm thinking of a cherry scent, I'm probably going to reach for this one over this one. This one, like I said, is year round. I would wear this one year round. They're very, very different cherries. This one's really has that sourness to it that candy-like quality. This one has that syrupy quality, has that honey, is really well blended. I, I, love, I love them both. They are my favorites, but for very, very different reasons. 
So let me know what cherry scents that you have. I have my, like, I have over 30 fragrances with cherry in it, and I only talked about 14. So I tried to really narrow it down. I like all of these scents. I wear all of these scents. I like the cherryness of all of these scents. But, and I feel like they are really cherry for scents. It's just really hard to rank them all. Let me know how you would rank them. Let me know if you've tried them, what ones you haven't tried, which ones you'd like to try. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time.